Hello everybody, we Paddy here and uh, tonight I am just going to do a wee quick sharpening video and this is a live sharpening video so I have just bought the little Victorinox sharpener. It's a little pen shaped sharpener, they are, it's brand new, there's not a mark on it, back or front, never been used, I've never used one, don't think I've even seen a video on somebody using one, now I send that to be honest I haven't looked, but I'd seen it the other day and I thought Right, let's get it and see what it's like. Because especially down the caravan night, what a great way to go down and have your sharpening system that can get you back to your working edge. And most of the time, that's all I need. I don't need to be slicing telephone paper. I just need a working edge. So that's what I've done. So there's the sharpener. I'm going to use my Leatherman. This is a Leatherman Pulse, an old one. I've had videos on this. This is a beautiful, it was the first locking Leatherman. It's got a diamond side and a file side. That diamond side can bring your knife back. It's a great sharpener for a knife. Um, absolutely great. I've done videos on that, sharpening with this. Great tool. And I'm using a Workman with, what, 4, 420A or 440A steel on them. Uh, it doesn't bother me because they work. It doesn't last forever. But this is the idea. This is the perfect accompaniment to something like this. This is a great knife. It's like a swayback, worn cliff, absolutely beautiful in hand to work with. But it does go blunt fairly often. So to have this in your pocket as part of your EDC, I'm going to try carrying this as my EDC in my, my left hand pocket with my torch. So anyway, let's see. I'm going to blunt it and bring it back to sharpness. Here's the knife. Um, here's a bit of telephone paper. It's a really, you know, I've sharpened this so I know it's a good edge. So I'm going to run this across my diamond. I'm going to see what it cuts like. <laughs> it doesn't. That's how good that diamond is. Look, that literally, I'm not trying to do this. It's completely blunt. So there's a great way to start. I love this Leatherman. Now, apparently all you do is hold this as two sides, so I think you just wear one side out. And because it's uh, like an oval shape, it's like a rugby ball or an American football, so you can do your recurves on this as well. I mean, it's a perfect little sharpener. I don't know why I haven't tried it before. But anyway, let's let's just do it. So I'll find the angle, that, the rough angle that I want, and I'll pull it across. I'll pull it across. No pressure, by the way. And anything, any of these... Sharpen so there's no pressure. Just take it, let it, just let the blade. And what I tend to do is, there's actually a little line down there. If you're a fisherman, what another great, it's uh, there's a, a, a line down the center of it for doing your hooks. Absolutely beautifully. I have to say, it's going across it. It's very well put together. But then again, it's Victorian ox, so I'd expect it to be. So let's just see what that's like. A couple of strokes, I don't know, is that five either side? The same. Well, it's definitely getting there, so we'll give it another five and see how she goes. And I know you see people and they do this with their bevels. I, 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 I don't do that. I, I, don't, I don't get that. I mean, I, I just put it in the angle that I try to use every time. And it usually comes out quite good because, you know, it's like muscle memory. I just do it in the same place every time and I seem to get it all right. I need to, like, do you need to be 100% right? No, I just want an edge back on this that I can do a wee bit of work. So let's just see what that's like. <laughs> that is absolutely class. Loving it. What was that? What did that take? Ten strokes either side with a completely blunt knife. There it is. How cool is that? Ten pound this cost. Ten pound. That is just, that's going to be part of my EDC. I'm going to carry it. I'm going to let you know if I use it. Because most of the times I don't do enough hard work in a day to blunt a knife. And I'll probably sharpen it with my own equipment when I come home. But for a month I'm going to use this to sharpen the knives after use after my daily house when i come back i just want to show this 
This is a knife stuff, but Jeff Jewell, my mate, who's just had uh, his broken ankle operated on, he's going to be out of action for a while, and it's killing him, bless him. But he sent me two of these. He sent me a green one again. He had seen the one that he sent me about a year ago that was getting black. And I mean, I've cleaned it umpteen times. I just love the knife drop blocks. They are just amazing. But he sent me the white one and the green one, and he sent me the white to try it. And he even sent me some white uh, compound to put on it. So I'm just going to run this across here because I've never tried the white. Jeff says there's not that much difference between them, but... Well, it's removing a bit of steel anyway. But then this 440 just comes apart. <laughs> it tends to just, in my view. Now, let's just see what that's like. I just want to see if I've got a nice, decent edge on this. Nice, clean edge. That's pretty good, isn't it? For that short amount of time. I am really, really impressed. That's just... And I know if I spent a wee bit more time stropping or a wee bit more time on that, I could get it even more. But that's enough to cut your finger off. Great, great job, Victorian Ox. Make it simple. This is sharpening at its simplest. £10, learn how to do it. Because you'll learn how to do, how to put your angle and just try and do it on both sides even. And if you can get it sharp on this, you can get it sharp on anything. It's that simple. Do not make it complicated. But as for this, Victoria Knox, amazing. Love it. Really, really love it. Now, the other good thing about this, if you're a, a bushcrafter or whatever, and you had a, a bushcraft knife, if you look on the top of that, there's one of those pulls through, pull through things, but it's not the metal version. It is a uh, ceramic. I'll tell you what, why don't we just do this again? I just want to see what the ceramic's like. Again, the diamond on that there. Let's see what this is like. <laughs> that is just such a good diamond. So, shall we pull it through? Why not? Let's just see if it's... Because we know that's done roll the edge, so it, you know, it shouldn't be that bad. God, it's very smooth. So it's not a metal one. I'm putting no weight. I'm just leaving the weight of the knife on there. Let's just try it. Again, I hadn't planned this. This is what I love about videos. No, that's not actually doing anything too much. Right, let's just see. I'll put a bit more weight on it. I'm pushing a wee bit on it just to see. Again, now nah, don't like that, so not too worried about that. There, let's just again go back to it. All I do is once you get memory muscle at holding an angle, you don't have to worry about it too much. You just put it down, get your angle. This is quick, down and dirty, sharp, and to get a knife back in action for work. You know, if you sit at your tea break and you've used it. Pulling this wee thing out of your pocket. <laughs> I haven't said that for a while and not get arrested. <laughs> yeah, gotta laugh. Now, let's just see how quick we've got it back again. <laughs> that is, that is genuinely, I am so impressed with that. And again, just stick it on a wee strap, which is what I do at the end of the day. I don't need to use that. Love that knives. Uh, I just wish they had them over here. It is just such a beautiful strap. So smooth. Now, I'll give that a wee wipe off. And back to it. Will this go in my box now? That is just phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal. There you go. There you go. I forced it out there, but that is an amazing thing. Highly recommended by Young Paddy. I'm away to sharpen some more knives on this side. That's, that's smashing. What a great tool. All the best. See what you can get for £10. You don't have to spend a fortune.
Take care. All the best. Bye-bye now.